Yo, Ross TV and this bitch getting faded as fuck. What? Check out this party that we're motherfucking at right motherfucking now. You fucking assholes. Woo, woo. Hey, what's up, man? Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, man. How old are you? 28 years old. 28. Woo, woo. We're just out here hanging out, having a good fucking time. My man. Welcome to Floyd County. <laughs> Welcome to Check, Virginia, baby. Welcome to Floyd County, bitches. <laughs>
So we're just out here hanging out at the party. Uh, what do you think about it? It's pretty good. You got some pizza. Yeah, it's not the Giorno's or nothing, but it's not bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's not delivery. It's not the Giorno's either, though. Yeah. So I think it's Tombstone. Tombstone, you gotta step your game up, bud. What's up? Uh, but, uh, woo woo! Ow! Birthday man right there. We're trying to celebrate. We're trying to celebrate the shit right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it right. Trying to anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. No, he had me, Josh. Hey. Yeah, we're doing if, this if right. This Josh is taking a double shot. That Josh is taking a double shot. I mean, it's it's like Josh, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Is that two first names? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Two first names. <laughs> like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you're first, you're last. Moses Josh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Moses Josh. Moses. <laughs> Beautiful location though for a birthday party. For sure. I like it. Lovely place scenery. Years ago. Look at the grass oh, yeah. cut. It's fucking gorgeous. Look at those stripes yeah. from Stephen Pop. Yeah, that right. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Shout, shout out to Stephen Pop on those stripes. Handling your property. <laughs> he taught me everything. Still <laughs> visible okay. and the sun is down. For sure. Yeah. I mean, I never ran a crew last year. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking sweet. Check where yeah. comes out and does it every. You know, no, he was. We gotta get the week, bonfire started. So I'm not lighting it this time. I'm out here, so. No, I don't. That started, at least started like No, because last time we had a bunch of wood on that bonfire. Brandon Hollins was lighting a gas trail. Didn't tell me he was lighting a damn fire. And I was throwing a log on the left side, and next thing you know, I throw a log in, and all of a sudden I turn around, and boom, I feel my shirt just go Poof, from the percussion of the flame. I was like, holy shit, into the heat. I was just like, what the fuck? Next thing I know, Brains are over there trying to put his face out. He got all burnt up from lighting the damn gas trail or whatever. And it blew up in his face. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck just happened? But that was truck was just put wood in the back of the It worked sometimes. Well, most of the time, but you just can't ride the fuck out of it. Oh yeah, you got me on camera, that's cool. <laughs> Just don't sell anything by the other government. Fuck those masters. Oh, what are you that for? That's what I said. You put a freaking pickup in it and your guitar. Uh, oh, that's what you can put in your car. That's a good car right there, boy. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a piece of shit. Old ass guitar been sitting out in the rain. You gotta for leave it out for at least another year. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it's a vintage look. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sit down, water log, and put it in the fish tank. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. That would look pretty cool. I agree. Now black people in fire don't get along. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna step back. This fire is very, very agreeable. No, no, that one ain't explosive. Palettes and all. Just a little fire. It's pointing right at us, dude. 
Oh, yeah. Lighter G fluid bottle. Oh yeah, that's it's a I'm gonna keep the other one. So go see if our old lady is impressed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cause they, Let's but do like, it. they don't fucking care. They do. We're gonna go. Why would any? Hey, I think no, I got play it. I got it. Let like me a see it. Hustling. Let me see it. You know, I think see it. Y'all should play your old lady. I'm gonna tell my old lady she's gonna come back in here. Yeah, go. Are you gonna flop? Flop that cash in her face. I am. I am. Jesus God. Four two dollars. Who's that? I don't know, two people that were shady characters at the table, so we gotta go kick Sir. ass now. <laughs> Dude, he's being tape. You go being tape and says, Kaylee, he's, he's people's <laughs> ass. Come on, Chris. Here you go. This is your triumphant start. What is that? A drumstick, motherfucker. Thanks. I want you to drop a beat <laughs> right on somebody's face. I don't know how to play drums. <laughs> you know how to drop a bass line, son of a bitch. <laughs> What up, though? We out here. 
It's your boy Ross from Ross TV reporting to you motherfuckers right now. It's Memorial Day of Memorial Day weekend, Monday, and I'm out here. Uh, the fuck, yeah. This is uh, my brother in law is gonna meet me, and we're gonna go see the new Star Wars film, a solo story. And I'm about to take a ride with him, so I'll catch up with you in the car ride. Uh -huh. What up, though? We're on the way to the movie in the car, and I think I'm messing up the name of the title of the movie a bit. It's like either Solo, a Star Wars story, or Solo Story, a Star Wars movie. I'm really fucking up the title. What is it called, John? That's it. This is what it's called, Solo, A Star Wars Story. That's it. Check out my Star Wars t-shirt. Fucking swag, bitches. Yo, we're here at the Frank Cineball Theater in Blacksburg, and we got a little bit of time to kill before the movie starts. We got an arcade here. Let's check out the arcade game. Come on. Come on! Fun awaits. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, what's the biggest prize you ever won from an arcade? Uh, I think like. I mean, look at all that stuff they got. That's like great prizes, you know? I like that green bear. I won one of these things. I won like like 15 bucks or something. Hey guys, what you doing? All right, actually, it's coming down. All right, yo, we're at Frank's Bullshit Cinnabowl. Um, we were inside and we filmed the arcade scene like you just saw. We were actually told by an employee that we're not allowed to film anything inside the building. Make sure you don't get the customers in it at all. And the guy was actually really nice. He was just kind of letting us know about what the rules and regulations are for the building. But they say that the owners don't want you to... Obviously, I'm not going to film any of the actual movie. But I thought that you guys might want to see the cool... Uh, arcade, they have a bowling alley, they have a restaurant, and it's all in this uh, movie complex. And honestly, if I was to film it, it could have promoted the movie complex, right? You know, people can see it's got a cool arcade, cool bowling alley, cool place to eat, and people on the internet, which is where people live nowadays, would see that and it would help promote the business. But because I was told of these lame rules, I'm gonna say, that this is Frank's bullshit Cinnabowl. Go to see a movie at Regal 16 instead. And that's all I have to say about that. Now film this guy's face. <laughs> hey, so you you're not gonna sue us, right, for having you in the video? Oh no, you're good. You're okay. going to see the Star Wars movie with us, correct? You're part of our, <laughs> our crew. You're not just yeah. a random employee. They told us not to film customers. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you're a customer here, right? I am now. Yeah, so... Fuck the rules, right? <laughs> Let's go see the Star Wars thing. Yeah, yeah! yeah. Mm. Woo woo! Star Wars! Bam! So we just got done watching Star Wars Story, a Chewbacca movie, and um, spoiler alert on Chewbacca, it reveals how hung he is, and you know, I thought he was pretty hung, you know, packing 
but I didn't realize like how massive this thing's schlong was. Like it's down his whole leg and it's like taped to his ankle. And I won't give any more away than that. But it was an alright movie. I thought it was pretty good. Um, so it was a fun time. Memorial Day weekend. I grilled some burgers like you saw in the one shot. And saw the Star Wars movie. Went to that bomb ass party. Super fun fucking time. Uh, met some people I hadn't seen in like 12 years or so. And uh, the whole party was fun. Uh, there ended up being a fight breakout at the party, but other than that, it was a good time. The vibe from the party was like not, it was basically a complete surprise that anybody was going to get in a fight. There was no tension building up. It seemed to happen like out of nowhere, but I don't want to dwell on the crazy negative bullshit. Like it was just a good Memorial Day weekend. And I want to put you guys up to on a, to keep an eye out for the next Ross TV comedy vlog. It's going to be addressing the Tune Tuesday that was taken off the channel. And um, I just wanted to put this vlog out first because Memorial Weekend is over with now. But this is like m newer. And... If you were interested in some of the details about the Toon Tuesday that got yanked by the YouTube um, algorithm or whatever happened exactly, stay tuned for the next episode because um, the whole episode is addressing that whole issue. And I do apologize if uh, you find like YouTube's like review process and like terms and conditions and like any all these like details about youtube to be boring then i guess just fucking <laughs> pass over that but if you're interested in what the fuck happened to my tune tuesday they got kind of censored and removed then look out for next week's episode of ross tv comedy and keep watching the channel in general Please subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. And if this doesn't appeal to you, then I guess just fuck off, right?